The classic LME insertion technique recommends complete cuff deflation and using the tip of the right index finger at the LMA tube and cuff junction to direct the tip of the cuff along the hard and soft palate around the tongue and into the upper esophageal inlet. The cuff is lubricated with a water-soluble gel, fully deflated and advanced in a sweeping motion along the hard palate, soft palate and posterior pharyngeal wall. Rotation of the patient's head into a sniffing position and forward displacement of the mandible can be used to facilitate advancement of the LMA into the upper esophageal inlet. Once positioned, the LMA cuff is inflated with just enough air to prevent an audible leak with positive pressure ventilation. Typically, 10 to 20 mils of air is required in an adult-sized LMA. As the cuff is inflated, the LMA will appear to slightly rise out of the mouth by a few millimeters as the cuff seats into position. If positive pressure ventilation is used with an LMA, inflation pressures of less than 20 centimeters of water are recommended to avoid gastric insufflation and distension. Over the years, clinicians have developed many personal modifications of the classic LMA insertion technique. These include partial inflation of the cuff prior to insertion, a 180 degree rotation of the cuff during insertion, and techniques which avoid placing the operator's fingers in the patient's mouth. We'll next demonstrate the insertion of a classic LMA. Uh, the LMA was introduced uh, approximately around 1990 by Dr. Archie Brain and has since revolutionized airway management both in an elective and in emergency situations. Insertion of an LMA can be done by both skilled and less skilled operators. However, there are several technical aspects that need to be covered. First of all, as you can know, the cuff for the LMA is significantly larger than the endotracheal tube, and thus, to insert it through the mouth requires a wide open mouth. To do this, extension of the head by placing the right hand under the occiput will naturally open the mouth. The mouth can also be opened with a scissor technique with your thumb and middle finger of your left hand. Upon insertion, classically, it's been described uh, as if you're holding a pencil and you want to approach the mouth from the, from the thorax at an, at an approximately parallel angle. You introduce the tip and the tip is to be pushed against the hard palate and as the LMA is advanced, it should advance along the heart, then the soft palate. The purpose of this is to advance it around the tongue. Another technique for getting the tongue out of the way would be to hold a tongue jaw lift or to do a jaw thrust in order to promote advancement of the tongue forward. As you advance the LMA, it should slide over the palates, around the tongue, and as you push as far as you can with your hands, you should finally meet resistance. You then hold the LMA with your left hand, you pull out your right hand, and you would advance it until it stops. From here, you would, ins you would instill anywhere from 15 to 20 cc's of air, and you may see the LMA uh, come out very slightly. From here, then you can confirm your tube placement with entitled CO2.